Hello everyone, welcome back for another episode of Link's Awakening. Are you ready for another fucking adventure? Let's get to it. I figured out what to do because I looked it up. I would have never figured it out. Let's be real about this. You bird. Fuck you oh, bird. Oh, fighting. Okay, that's not how it was supposed to go down. Apparently I'm supposed <laughs> to kill it right away. I was promised a feather right away. Aw, oh, you fucking coward. Goddamn coward. Oh, God damn it. So I have to kill that bird. Going great. <laughs> this isn't going great. No, it's not. A rock and hit him with the other rock. There we go. Oh, there he goes. Now here's some crazy shit. I'm about to do it. I would have never have guessed to do this in a million years. Than the bird? Yeah, the bird one I might have figured out just because that I, I was attacking the bird. I just didn't know I had to throw something at it. But this I would have never have understood. Alright, watch. We're gonna go back. So we have to kill Ball and Chain Guy, right? But how do we get in there? Wait, what the fuck? Why is it? Door's open. Door's open? Was the door always been open? <laughs> no, it wasn't open the first time. Okay, alright, oh, watch. Oh, there it is, it closes. That's how. Okay. I had to throw a pot at it. You're right, I would not have done that. No. Now I have to kill this. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be a ninja or as an Octorok with a birth defect, but either way, he's fucking dead. Okay, so there's five leaves. Alright. Now go and see Richard about that key. Yeah, would never have fucking guessed that in a million years. How is throwing a pot a, a logical jump? I don't think... I think it's just because you're a kid and you're like, how do I do this? So you just start messing around. But at no point would you ever think like, all right, I'm going to throw this. It's like a lot of those old adventure game puzzles where it's like... Sam and Max is especially bad at it. If you Have you ever played uh, Sam and Max Hit the Road? Uh, No, I can't say I have. The logic leaps in that game are astonishing it is like <laughs> like when you go like oh so the way to get to this guy is that i had to use a piece of gum stick it to the back of a car watch the car um drive off but then pick up the gum that's later on the floor with a piece of stick and then merge the stick with a gun and then shoot shoot the stick at the object and the, the puzzle would have been solved and that's the Simon Max, Simon Max style of logic in their puzzles, where you kind of go like, I guess I had to do that. <laughs> like, I don't see the logic in this at all, because there is no logic behind it. You're just doing shit until something works. Sounds right. Oh, but I love Simon Max. Oh, man. See, Simon Max, that would be a hell of a game to play, because we wouldn't even need to be funny. The game is funny. <laughs> so... <laughs> it would be a nice uh, weight off my shoulders. Yeah, we can stop trying to be a couple of chuckle, chuckle fucks. Oh, you're French? Ah, Trebian, I see you have recovered That's all of the leaves. That's a way to say that he's, like, from royalty. It is. He's French. Now move this box and you will find your reward. That stopped being French at the end. <laughs> that, that was a... Yeah, that became, like, a... I don't know what that was. I'm willing to. I think it was a fucking Yu-Gi-Oh! bridge character. <laughs> it sounded like uh, someone pretending to be Yami Merrick with a weird French accent behind it. Like his, like his oh, first. Now I need to think of who the fuck that was. I mean, yeah, it's a lot of accents, so you'll find it eventually. <laughs> ah, damn it! All right keep going i'm figuring out who this fucking voice was so you're just looking up Yu-Gi-Oh characters until you fail you tell you find the voice yes. oh it's it's um mr kaiba oh that guy right it sounds kind of like him except for sl with a weird french accent one of the one of the big five not him not him I know who you're talking about not him oh really okay See, now I'm curious. I thought that was the one I kind of sounded like. But with if there's someone else, am I going to die here? The answer is yes. I'm not going to die. 
Son of a bitch! I, I literally saw it right in front of me and I still went through it. Alright. Alright, yeah, it's yeah. It's the, uh... I think I remember who... Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay. It's really hard to find Yu-Gi-Oh! Bridge episodes, apparently. Oh yeah, that's because that shit constantly gets taken down. I know. It's almost as if, um... So Konami is not cool with it for some reason. Weird. Weird. That Konami is shitty about something. Yeah, weird. It's uh, they're shitty about uh, snake about Snake and Yu-Gi-Oh for some reason. Yes, here it is. Yeah, uh, bad guy. What is it? Oh wait, let me see. All right, one moment, everyone, as I look up. I guess people can be able to hear it. Is it is it on a, at a specific part? Because just the, he's the first guy that talks. I'm pretty sure. Nothing you can do or right. say will stop us. Now people can hear this in the background. No oh, no, no, <laughs> oh darts! This is a very emotional scene, so please don't look directly at my naked butt, no matter how distracting or sexy it might be. Is it darts? Is that the one you were thinking of? Yeah, darts. Okay. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit of darts. I feel um. Darts is also the fun thing about darts is that it's a it's a great reference. A lot of the uh, a lot of the voices that he does for the show are references to Adult Swim shows, and the voice of darts is also one. It's the guy from Perfect Hair Forever, and uh, it's a reference that only like seven people get. <laughs> one of them is Takahata One Hundred One. <laughs> like I get it because Perfect Hair Forever is fucking hilarious. That's the that's if you ever wonder where do the la 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 comes from, it's also from Perfect Hair Forever. <laughs> so there you go. Now you know, and I'm, t- I'm telling you the now secret you know, spots. Audience, now you know. I got the slime key. I can open the gate in the Ukakaka prairies. Uh, do I have to go all the way the fucking back? You doing this annoying shit? <laughs> like, are you serious? Oh, god damn it. Sounds like a Zelda thing to do. God damn it. God damn it, really? Alright, fine. I guess I don't have really a choice in the matter. The fun thing is is I knew I was going to fall to my death, and yet I did nothing to stop it. I guess I could just jump over that. (sighs) How the fuck do I get out of here? Uh, you got me. I feel like the fastest way to get out of here is just save and quit. (laughs) Okay, now it's through there. I got it. Uh, perfect hair forever. Alright. Let's see. I came through this way, right? I'm not losing my mind here. Uh, I think so. Okay. Yeah, no, no. I, I went through here. We had to go back to French guy. And his frogs. What is th- is the reason he has so many frogs because he's French? Is Probably. That, is that the joke? I, I assume so. Why did... Okay, so now we know why he told us to get a shovel. Okay. Alright, we did it. Are uh, you telling me I can't go through here? Are you fucking kidding me? It up and the, can you go between? Oh no, I guess you can't go between those two, can you? Nope. Ah, oh, god, damn it! Why is why is everything in my go life around? I guess coming from the the other side. Why is everything in my life so difficult, son? Why can't anything just be a one hundred percent? No. Oh, wow, what the fuck is that? That's a weird snake. That's floor snakes. Okay, I'm gonna say no to going through there. I know where. I know how to get there. I know how to get there. I just remembered how. Did it jump over those things? Because I don't think it is. No, but you'll see what I what I what it is. I remember there was an alternate path as I was going up here. I thought that maybe it would take me um to the backyard. It did not take me to the backyard though. Jumpy, 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 jumpy. See right here. Jump it. Sometimes you just gotta open your eyes. Then you know what I'm saying. A very observant. Yeah. Occasionally, I'm good at video games. Not all the time, but occasionally. 
I was I, w- I really hoped that I was just gonna fall over and I would have to go fall off the ledge. <laughs> I really hoped that during my not even a boast, it was more like a very humble like I'm sometimes good, <laughs> and then to immediately be told, "No, you're not." Ah, oops, I hit my mic. All right, we're at the key cavern. Oh, let sometimes me guess. Sometimes I'm good at recording. <laughs> sometimes I'm good at recording. <laughs> That's a lie. I've never been good at recording. <laughs> remember, okay, I'm not good at it either. Yeah, remember when we recorded uh, Modcast episode 1 in... Uh, what the fuck? Oh my god. In mono only, so you could only okay, hear it. Okay. You could only hear it from the left side. <laughs> I've done that before. Kyo God is recorded that way. Nice. And Kyo God is like your most known video and also... No, the- it is. <laughs> Oh, wow, this guy really popped down? I like that when you said that, your mic fucked up, so now the episode has just decided that it's not going to work anymore. These aren't going great right now. No. It's uh, emblematic of how I feel on the inside. Ah! Fuck off. Fuck off! Alright. These guys just don't know when to fuck off. Those things, even. But yeah, I like it I'm when there's place. there's a mistake in the video you like. And it's one of the higher viewed videos you have. <laughs> the yeah, best. It's literally my highest viewed video ever, I think. Nice. Uh, my f- one of the best examples of this is the fact that probably one of the best episodes of Yu-Gi-Oh, the um, Ishizu episode, has completely fucked audio. Yeah, it does. It's really bad. Like it's it's uh, I really like that episode, but it's um, it has such shitty audio that I had to warn people, like, hey. Be careful. I don't want you to die listening to this. What is that? Oh, so he bounces around and explodes. Okay. Yeah. I was about to say, how do, where the hell do I go? But I just realized that I can go this way. What? Oh, wait, no, that's that's common. There we go. Oh, you piece of shit. How do I stop that? Do I... Do I perhaps jump? Alright, doing good so far. I, this has to be the thing because I need a key. There we go. Yeah, but having mistakes in the videos that you like are is great. Like for a good stretch of videos where it was just double audio, it was killing me like that they were like that. Yeah, did that ever like resolve itself? Yeah, it eventually just resolved itself. I don't know what the fuck happened though because we didn't do anything different. It just it just magically fixed itself. Oh, just, whatever works. Yeah, whatever works, I guess. So I only have one keyhole. So which one is the right key? Is it this one? Oh, what the fuck? Uh, it's using instant okay. transmission. It is what the fuck is it? Jesus? Oh, he's dead though. He's dead, just like Goku. Very easy once you take him down with instant transmission. Oh, I see how it is. So if I pick the wrong door, I get a small key. Instant transmission. Ah, oh, this sucks even worse because I don't know how to get to him. Oh. This this guy uses instant transmission way better than Goku because he actually uses it. Yeah, he actually uses it like a, an attack. Yeah, and he also is throwing ninja stars at me for some reason. Oh, I have to kill the bat, don't I? Oh, I guess I didn't. I didn't need to kill anyone. <laughs> Has Undertale taught Murderer. Me. Murderer. I got it. I kill because I need to kill Zen. That's my motto. <laughs> Only kill what you must. Yes. Spare the rest. I believe as the great people once said, uh, spare the child, kill the rod. That's the, that's the phrase, right? <laughs> yes. Yes, it is. I don't like these, like, evil bomb bombs. Ah! He's smiling at me! What does it mean? I don't like it when the enemy tells me he's gonna die in my face in two, three seconds. <laughs> yeah, this is some concerning uh, events going on right now. Get away! Fuck off! There we go. Yeah, that was weird. Ah, yeah, I got a compass. Now you can see where the chests are. And the nightmares. Don't forget the nightmares. A tone will tell you if a key is hidden in a room when you enter. Okay. 
To be fair, I don't think they've ever made noises to tell me if a key is somewhere here, so this might be the world's greatest compass. I don't like... What? Are they immortal? Oh, they have numbers on them! Run! Yeah, I know, oh I, ca I can't run, so I have to just keep batting them away and hoping they don't blow in my fucking face. Okay, there's a hidden key here somewhere. But I'm gonna guess it's that thing over there, so I can't reach it. So, big fat help that was. Unimpressed with uh, the compass so far. Hasn't really been that useful. What the fuck is this? Uh, you cannot hurt it, apparently. Oh, I know what it is. It's the Dongos. Dodongo! That's it? You think bombing in the mouth? Yeah. What else is that a giant mouth for? Don't answer that question, because I know where you're going with it. Oh, well, it was. Except it didn't seem like it did anything. I have to hit the ass right when it eats the bomb. <laughs> Come here. Okay, no, it, it's hurting him. Uh, uh, is it, though? No? Yeah. It blew oh, yeah, the I fuck can... up. Does that answer your question? Come here. Eat. Just saying, three bombs is a lot when you only have three bombs. It's true. I'm sure I'll get some more later. They wouldn't be assholes and not give me more bombs. I mean... Oh, okay. See, and it unlocked like a, like a little portal thingy. Is that... Let me guess. This way. That way. What is this? You got Pegasus, Pegasus boots. boots. All right. If I can hold down the button. Do I have to attach the boots? I do have to attach the boots. Ah, oh, God damn it. Come on. Don't do this to me now. Well... Get can't break pops apparently. Can't break pops. Can break unbeatable, unsurmountable. There's a word. <laughs> now it always looks like uh, he's on like weird meth or something. You can't hear the little tick tick sounds. I'm faster than him. Uh, instant transmission birds. I'm going to be instant transmission the same way everyone else does by making you forget that you have it. kind of kicking your ass. He is kicking my ass, but he does have instant transmission and the ability to throw shuriken, so he's like the fusion of Goku and Naruto in one. Do you know how deadly that would be? Nargoku? Nark? <laughs> Damn it. Nark. I don't know where Nark came from. That might have just been my heart. All right, we'll join this up next time because I'm not in, in it for a long haul for this one. <laughs> So we'll see you guys next adventure. Yes, that's Bye, a good one. Bye. Bye.